I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Let's look at some travel trailers here, and these are Silver Lake East to West. Silver Lake 31K3S. Let's check it out. It's a MSRP 42. And then Gander RV discount 15. Well, you got it for 26,995 here at the RV show. Or you can mortgage it for 239 per month, which is not bad. It's less than a car payment nowadays. And uh, let's see. I mean, I've never actually you know, reviewed any of these units. I mean, I'm not reviewing. I'm just walking through. And... Um, I'm giving you my first impressions of what I see uh, as far as as, um, as floor plans and and the quality of the materials that I see, which is, is it's it feels like plastic, which is not ceramic, like high end, but it's not particle board either. So and that so that's good. Nice deep sink here, suburban range with a propane oven. Your standard uh, two-way domestic refrigerator, gas or electric. Here we have, uh, actually the bathroom is pretty cool, pretty nice. And this is same material we had at the, at the kitchen counter. This is exactly the same sink I have in my micro mini, I think. Which is on the smallest side, but not bad. You, you get a bathtub. And it is a pretty decent size, I mean. Yeah. And the uh, standard light switches. Of course, you know, all these RVs nowadays, they all come with LED lights and all that. So it's not something I mention as much anymore. And here, oh wow. This is a multi-family bedroom almost <laughs> with opposing slides. So it feels very, uh, very spacious. You have two wardrobe closets, plenty of the drawers let's just see these drawers yeah it's it's real wood it's it's it's, it's pretty solid and down there you have you have a, an area maybe for for your fur baby i don't know and uh yeah bunks on both sides and uh that's uh that's pretty cool and here you have the dinette it's a, it's a four person dinette and i guess the only people who can really watch the tv are these two because the TV is over there, which is all right. It's a compromise. I mean, I would rather see the TV here, but then it would be in the in the galley area. So you don't want that either. Standard uh, microwave. I don't think this is a uh, convection. No, it's just a standard microwave. By the way, I, I've seen this brand Ferion everywhere. So that's that's uh, that's cool. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's see a couple more of this. This one has a pretty decent storage here in the front too, as you can see. Oh, and the light is the uh, same as the one we saw in the previous trailer that it's, uh, for you guys, it's in a different video. It uh, has a, a, a proximity sensor or a motion sensor. Very nice um, area there. You, uh, here in the front, you get your one. It's a rather large battery. It looks like a large uh, battery with uh, two propane tanks. What's that right? Okay, let's look at the Ozark Light 1660FQX, and this is uh, this will be fourteen thousand dollars here at the show. And this is a much smaller trailer, but you know, if, if you if you don't have a huge truck, this is probably what you need. And I, I like the fact that I don't know if the people, yeah, they do it. And, uh, and most of uh, most of the, the the manufacturers or or the or the dealers are putting it. It does tell you. The minimum tow vehicle and this one minimum tow capacity 3009 with an SUV which is probably the bare minimum you probably don't want to uh, go crossing the Rockies <laughs> on one of these I don't know exactly that's probably dry weight <laughs> but um, let me see if they have, I find more information about the, 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 the total weight this is a bed here you have storage Oof, underneath it's hard to do with one hand oh you have access to this is very clever to that same storage you can access from outside you can access from in here 
yeah. which is really cool if, if it is raining outside and there's something in your basement that you want to uh, get. Actually, I like that. You have uh, USB only on one side and then on both sides you have uh, power outlets. That's very deep. That's pretty deep up there. Dinette is pretty cool. Where, where's the... I don't see a TV here. But I suppose you could... Actually, yeah, the TV would go here. Which is alright because you can watch it from bed or you can both cuddle, you know, and this uh, bench sit here and watch the TV. TV backer, it doesn't... Uh, it, 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 this particular one, it doesn't come pre-installed. So you can put whatever TV you want. I'm sure the dealer could install one for you. Bathroom in the back here. That's actually a, a pretty big shower there. And here we have, um, yeah, it's that sink and yeah, it's not the it's not the the most uh, high quality material, but it's, it's it's not bad either. I wonder what it's down here behind. I bet you that that's where the piping is going. And the shower, yeah, the shower is good. Let's see what else we have. Oh, that look at this sink. And this is what I'm talking about. I mean, you don't get all that much prep room, like counter space. And this, this is begging for a, for a counter extension here on this side. Uh, but um, but one, of, one of the problems that I have with my sink and my RV is that it's not big enough for... for it's, a pain, it's a pain to, to, to wash some of your pots and, and, and larger skillets and stuff like that. So this is nice. We got a Furion uh, microwave, no convection, regular microwave, and the two burner suburban stove. And here you have some pantry space. Oh, more USB here. So if you are, you know, uh, in the uh, the dining table, you know, you can be charging your iPad or your phone. Okay, let's, let's, let, let, let me show you one more. And this is the Silver Lake 29 KRK. And for this one, you need a full-size pickup, something capable of 68, uh, uh, 35 pounds. Which probably means you want a full-size pickup and not a, a half ton, but like a, the, a good one. This is quite nice. And they do have the radio on and the TV on, so I'm going a little crazy in here, so I'm just going to get out real quick. But this one, look at all this counter space. Here you have a lot of counter space. This is, this is that same plasticky material we saw in the, in the previous one. You have here two outlets for like your coffee maker or anything like that. Nice sink. I've seen this sink in, in, very, in some high-end RVs and it's really nice. You got a propane oven and a four-person uh, dinette and uh, you get two recliners and the sofa and the TV and uh, there's really a lot of sitting room in, in this area. It's only one slide but it's a large one on that side and, uh, and then you have um, all your controls here. Pretty decent bathroom, but it's, that's very large, that's a very large uh, shower there. Hey, and, uh, yeah, the same. It's this I would I would like to see something a little more uh, high end there on the on the bathroom sink because everything else is it feels so high end that and here you have your your private uh, bedroom which you could close the door no lock but you could close it here's your your LED lighting and here you have a backer for the TV I'm sure they have like a stud there where you can nail your TV mount and. Uh, Wardrobe closet and more closet space there and yeah, pretty nice bed, emergency exit. We have, um, we get, uh, it's not awning style window. Uh, do you see the trend that a lot of people are moving away from those awning style windows? And, uh, and these are just uh, regular windows that lift up. And that one is another emergency exit there. All right. I kind of like it. Oh, it's starting to rain here in, in, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's going to be one of those days that it rains, it stops raining, it rains again. Let me show you one more. 
Look at this one. You have an outdoor kitchen here with a with a compress compression style refrigerator, which is good. And uh, yeah, this is cool for, on, on a on a good weather day, not like today. Minimum tow vehicle, full size pickup. Actually, this one is on uh, only five three one nine. A minimum tow capacity, which means that I could probably tow it with my Colorado if I really wanted to. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to cross the Rockies uh, towing it, but um, in relatively flat terrain, it, it would, look at that, that same super large uh, sink here. And, and you know, I, I hate doing the dishes, and uh, but if I have to do them, I want to do them in a, in, a, in a comfortable setting like this, you know, and, uh, and this is a nice faucet. And a, a nice dip sink, four-person dinette there, same uh, stove. And here the TV is in a pretty good position because you could watch it either sitting at the dinner table or, you know, lounging in your recliner. Is it a recliner? No, I don't know. I don't know what's down here. In any case, here's the bathroom. Oh, you have bunk beds in this one. Bunk. So this is, this is a full-time family rig and you get even a, a bathtub so if you really want to if you have full hookups and you have enough water you can you can take a bubble bath same domestic refrigerator two-way and um, here's the the, the 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 bedroom with another tv backer right there and you have his and hers usbs his and hers USB, everybody, everybody nowadays has uh, his and hers USBs, almost everybody and everybody should because uh, I'd like to see more wireless charging too. This one is pre-wired for Wi-Fi and let me show you because look at these two uh, huge windows and three windows, one in the bedroom too. This one, full-size pickup, this one uh, would be, uh, actually that's very light. It feels, it feels like a very large rig for only 49.13, but... Which leads me to believe they're using probably very thin materials. But there you go, this is, um, this is different, certainly. And you get uh, this uh, table here with seating. But then you get a balcony in the back. And I like this, and I, and I like these large windows here in this area and I see hooks on the floor so I guess this could double as a toy hauler right this would be a, this would be a toy hauler oh what is this no. I, I thought that was gonna be uh, something else and here we have the bedroom in the front All right, this one is certainly different and it feels, uh, the construction feels uh, different. It, it, it almost feels uh, too plain and I guess that's why it's, it is so light, you know. I mean, yeah, this stuff is, some of this stuff is paper thin, but this feels more solid. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's go see something else. Hi. Oh, thank you. Good to meet you. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I always love meeting people on the road. And here, finally, uh, 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 the, let me show you the storage, which is pretty big. Battery, dual propane tanks, electric jack, you know, that's standard stuff. Ozark lights. And these are by Forest River, by the way. A lot of them, they don't, sometimes they don't say uh, what they are, but okay, this is, uh... all right, let's do one quick look inside this one. This one would, uh, you, you would need at least 6835 uh, tow capacity if you want to tow this guy. You've got, you're working on resilient Shaw floors. It's a nice floor. And this is very spacious. It's one big room. And sometimes I like this one big room approach. You have your, your bunks back there. Lots of space here. You know, for your coffee maker, your Berkey water filter, whatever you want to put here. 
nice bathroom back here with an, with an extra door. So if you, if you are, you know, swimming in the pool, whatever you're doing, you can just come in here and not, you know, make a mess of the whole place. Bunks are nice. Two USBs on, uh, on each and two power plugs and bunk bed capacity, 300 pounds. So you can put some rather large kids up there or adults, <laughs> I should say. And, oh, they look at this pantry here. Lots of, lots of storage. I mean, the TV, not in the best position compared to the, to the sofa. But I guess it, it, people don't watch TV nowadays. I imagine the whole family there, each with its own iPad watching their own thing. That's what we do, right? Nice stereo. And let's see the, the master bedroom. Here, very cool, very nice. Same deal. These are pretty well designed, you know, and sometimes it is, I guess it is hard to, to, to design the living room with the TV in, in, in mind. I, I like that huge picture window there right next to the four person dinette. Dr. AC. I would replace this with a fantastic vent on day one. Day two, maybe. And, um, but yeah, yeah you, 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 when you buy something like this, you, you, you have to be prepared that for the fact that you are going to have to modify stuff. You're going to have to upgrade stuff. And that will be one of my first upgrades. Fantastic vents, solar, better batteries, and, uh, and then we go to Quartzite. All right, let's continue um, exploring the show today, which is kind of a cloudy, rainy day, so there's not that many people which is a good thing when you're coming to an RV show.